In this video I am going to show you 3 amazing blend in effects you can try using CapCut. Start a new project and add your video to the timeline. So I will be using this video for this tutorial. Move your clip from the main track to the overlay track. Import a black background. So go to stock material and select trending. Then under trending download and import a black background to the timeline. Trim your clip to match the black background. Now we need to remove the background, so go to video the select remove background, then click on auto remove. Then wait for cap cut to remove the background for you. Go to adjustment and decrease the saturation, exposure and contrast. And don't worry much the adjustment for now. Now import your typography footage to the timeline. And if you want to make your own typography, watch till the end of the video. Extend your footage to match your video. Now go to basic under video, then scroll down and find blend. Then select overlay. Now select your video and go to adjustment again, then adjust your clip to how you want it to be. But if you want to know my adjustment, I will put it on the screen so you can use as reference when editing yours. Now let me show you how you can edit the typography footage. First import a black background to the timeline. Then add a default text to the timeline. Select the font you want to use, then type your first word, then resize it and make a duplicate of your text. Then type your second word, resize and make a duplicate of your text, so you can do as many as you want. Then when you are done, select all text and create a compound clip. So highlight all the text, right click and select create compound clip. Now resize your text and position it at where you want. So make more duplicate to fill the whole screen. Then when you are done just export it, or you can import a still frame and save it on your computer. If you have any question comment in the comment section also kindly subscribe, like and also turn on the notification bell. So let's move to the next tutorial. Import your clip to the timeline, then move your clip from the main track to the overlay track. Import a white background to the timeline. Then trim your clip to match your white background. Now let's remove the background of your footage. So go to video, then click on remove background then select auto removal, and wait for cap cut to remove the background for you. Now go to adjustment and adjust the saturation till your clip turns black and white. And don't worry about the adjustment now, I will show you later in the video. Import your clip to the timeline, then resize it and position it at where you want. Then trim it to match your main footage. Now go to basic and scroll down and find blend, click on mode and select screen. Now select your main video and go to adjustment. Then adjust your clips till the overlay clip is visible, so just adjust the exposure, contrast, shadow and if you want to know my adjustment I will put it on the screen for you. Go to mask, select horizontal and add some feathering to your image. Now add your second footage to the timeline, and you can add as many you want. So just resize and position at where you want it to be. Then go to basic, scroll down to blend and select screen. Then go to mask, select horizontal mask and add some feathering to the mask. If you want your two clips to blend in just select one clip, then adjust it to match the other clip. Import a white background to the timeline. Add a default text and extend to match your white background. Then type anything you want, then change the color and resize it to how you want it. Select your clip and create a compound clip. Import your background footage and move your text on top of it. Go to remove background then select chroma key. Then use the color picker to select the text color to remove it. Now position your background image the way you want and export it. Start a new project and import your background you want to use, then add your text to the timeline. Go to basic scroll down and find blend, click on mood and select multiply. You can resize and position at where you want. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching and kindly leave your comments and also subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.